What's going on guys? I'm MC back at you with another episode here on the Scout Crab server. We are here today because there has been a major update with the Guardian Farm. The full bump has been working his butt off and it is now all clear. It's looking really, really good. I don't know if he's over here working right now. It looks like he could be. He might be taking out the interior a little bit. But it's looking super, super good. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to work on getting a beacon for in here. So that way we can clear this out, level it out, and start making the farm. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. And you may have noticed we've gotten some work done on the mega base. This place is looking super snazzy. We've got texture and moss blocks everywhere, even through some bamboo in here. Plus, we get this little dock up front, which kind of matches what we're doing over there, except I have it as spruce to kind of give the illusion that this place gathers a lot more moisture, so the wood is actually getting a little more darker than probably out there, which I don't know if that works scientifically-wise, but it works, it works in my mind. But I'm liking how this place is looking. We're going to get a little bit more work done on it today. But yeah, lots of work done. And we also started laying out the interior kind of design for what we're going to be doing in here. So I have some spruce logs laid out because you guys know I love my spruce wood. I love working with it. we got it laid out in here. So I'm working with some wall designs. I'm wanting them spaced out this much. And then we also started laying out the foundation for our either kelp farm or bamboo farm. I think this is going to be a kelp farm. And then we're going to funnel this all into some hoppers and some furnaces and we're going to get that smelted down into dried kelp i also have some vines over there that i've been growing to make moss cobble mossy cobble so that has been a long and gruesome process but apparently you can use moss blocks and i i didn't know that up until like a couple days ago because you can literally take a moss block put it in your crafting table with a piece of cobblestone and you get mossy cobble how come no one told me? But enough of that, we're going to head on into the nether and try to find one of our nether fortresses that we found a long time ago, see if we can get some wither skulls. And that's one. Dang it. Okay, sadly, we only got one head, but Full Bump was able to get two more. So we're going to go meet up with him, get this wither defeated, and get the beacon going if i don't fall in fire if i don't fall into fire come on i got two i don't know how i got two dude i struggled to find withers it oh. did not make any sense i couldn't get them to spawn and then i thought i only had one and then you know i just cruised around found a couple killed them didn't think i picked it up and then was looking in my inventory i'm like is that the same head and it wasn't i had two so oh nice i probably only killed a dozen withers it just took an hour and a half to do it. Oh, yeah. In the meantime, let's finish um, the ocean monument. Oh, yeah. And uh, we need a beacon to do that because we got a lot of got a lot of turf to clear out there. A lot oh, of blocks. Yeah. And that's the middle. Yeah, that'll work. And then the soul sand, you're going to put like a T with the one block on top of the obsidian. Yep. And then out here, put three across on this side. So it's like a laying down guy. Well, either way, just like that. No, take this off like this. Oops, what's that? Okay. I don't have a shovel. Oh, you're fine. Like that, 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 and then put yours right there. Oh, okay. Okay. And then the heads will go here. And then when he stands up, this block here will be on top of the obsidian. And because he's more than two blocks tall, his head will be in the bedrock. And oh, his feet okay. On top of the obsidian. Gotcha. Okay. And we just want to clear this out a little bit so we can spawn some golems. Ready? Yeah. Gotta get back. Uh oh, there it is. Alright. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, that's loud. And and that's it. That was it. You guys did a great job. Yeah, you guys are the best, man. We'll be back. We'll bring you some more, okay? That'd be great. <laughs> there we go. All right. Oh, got a hole up to the sky? Yep. Should be. And boom. Yes. Yay. 
Nice. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. All right. <laughs> That's going to make this so much better. All right, we have this whole thing torn out, but I'm gonna head on over to the shopping district and I'm gonna get some work done over there. All right, now that we're back over to the spawn area, we're gonna come up these stairs and we're gonna look at this little area. So this is going to be our very, very first shop. Now we built the quest guild or quest building as a option for all of the scouts to use so we can actually work with each other to get items that we need but it's not really a shop. And if you guys know me at all, you know that I like to play a lot of Mario, including Mario Kart and all that, and I really, really like the piranha plants. So our store is going to be modeled after the piranha plant. And I've been spending quite a bit of time collecting up materials from the red mushrooms, even some brown mushroom blocks and terracotta, and just everything that I think I could need. So the main structure is going to be the the pot the potted plant part um it's not going to be the green tube that you normally see in mario but i wanted to make it a normal flower pot similar to like what we see here in a minecraft but i'm going to have it textured a little bit with the brown terracotta and the brown mushroom block and then the top is going to be the piranha block or not piranha block piranha plant that's what i meant to say all right let's jump into a really really quick time lapse get this shop built and then we can start collecting all the materials for what we're gonna sell and if you can think of a name that we should call this shop please drop it in the comments down below did some fine tuning after that time lapse but I'm really happy with how this turned out you can definitely tell what it is and instead of just using red wool and using white wool as the spots and using actual red mushroom blocks I think this looks really really good it's so much more organic the inside of the shop needs a little bit of fine tuning especially with the ceiling I think I might just cover the ceiling with slabs of some sort but we'll start setting up little areas where we can start selling different decorative blocks such as flowers big drip leaf moss all this kind of stuff that people would use in their builds to decorate because that's one thing that i'm always trying to get so i'm hoping i can keep up with a steady supply in case the other scouts want to decorate their builds just like I do. So now that our shop is starting to be built and Fullbone's been doing a great job slabbing out this area at the Guardian Farm, we're gonna start getting the wire frame in because we're actually gonna build another scout's design. Judy Boy, I'm gonna do his design here. Okay, I got it mapped out where the water is gonna be going on all of these and they're gonna all funnel into the center. Uh, chamber here, but I'm going to link to duty boys design down in the description So please go drop him a like and check out his video. He did a fantastic job explaining how to build this I, I'm so excited to build it. So shout out to duty boy. Go show him some love on with the build Okay, the skeleton of the farm is now in place But I do need to move that nether portal or else full bumps probably gonna go through that and just fall right off the edge uh, so yeah, we should definitely move that on down like we did the beacon. Um, I think I should just move it like right here and then we can get the inside walls placed with all the glass that we need. Full bump has gone insane. So I was able to get the framework in, but he went ahead and got this farm up and running and oh, it looks oh so good. Uh, again, shout out to Judy Boy. For having this farm design go show him and full bump some love go show all the scouts some love in the description down below and it looks like he went ahead and got a collection system set up and has this thing been working Ooh, it has been but I know he was gonna work with some prismarine blocks so if there was any of that we need to take 
uh, these out so we can open that chest. Uh, he might have taken any of that, but that is really, really cool. I'm not sure where the optimal AFK spot is for it, but yeah, we might have to uh, lend a hand in getting this going and expanding the storage because I'm excited to use these blocks as well. But even though the farm is complete and functional, it's not done. So what I want to do is I want to decorate this entire inner circle, inner inner circle, and make it look like a giant ruined area. We're going to put like moss blocks and vines and all that kind of stuff. If I can find the reference picture that I'm looking off of, I will post it up. But uh, if not, uh, it's just going to look very ruined, which is one of my favorite things to do here in Minecraft. But sadly, this episode is getting a little longer than I had originally planned, so we're going to wrap it up over here in our base area. Next episode, I'm gonna get some more work done on the mega base. I did not get to it in this episode like I wanted to. I was worried about getting stuff ready for the shop and the guardian farm, but we will tackle that. Maybe I'll do some more work on a live stream as well, because I'll explain these little spots that I have dotted around i don't think i've talked about those yet but all right guys that is all the time i have for today if you guys like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and always hit the bell so you know when videos are coming out and follow all the links i have in the description down below but i will see you guys in the next one so always remember the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands peace guys